Hi, my name's Tom Burke. I'm with IOLINE Corporation, and I'm going to take a few minutes here to tell you a little bit about IOLINE Design. Uh, this is a program we developed to work with all of our cutters and production devices, uh, but most particularly the Crystal Press Rhinestone Setting System. It has some tools and some features that are particularly well suited to doing rhinestone design. And I'd like to show you some of those because frequently people ask me uh, what is the difference between Ioline Design and the typical Corel Draw and Adobe Illustrator programs? Uh, one of the most uh, significant differences, I think, is the line fonts. Uh, Ioline Design has over a thousand fonts, but uh, the most important ones, I think, for rhinestone design are these uh, line fonts, which uh, I'll show you what a line font looks like here. As you can see, line fonts are different from uh, your typical true type fonts in that they have a uh, kind of a, a simple line instead of an inside and an outside. And they allow you to create rhinestone designs that uh, use fewer rhinestones. The most important thing about these line fonts, however, is that they are not commonly available on uh, Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator and Corel Draw use uh, fonts like uh, that are called true type fonts uh, that look like this. I'll show you one real quickly here. So you can understand that uh, if the rhinestones are placed on the perimeter of this font, obviously it will use a lot more rhinestones than on this design here. Uh, the other, uh, or one of the other significant uh, features uh, is what we call the Rhinestone Object Library. Uh, if you're doing designs and you want to basically follow, create designs that follow accurately the size of the rhinestones, this Ioline Rhinestone Library will allow you to do that. Notice that the rhinestones are set in sizes that match the standard rhinestone sizes available with the crystal press, and that also match the colors available with the crystal press. Here we'll select a uh, particular rhinestone, and place it next to our line font. Now, I'm also going to change the color of our line font here so you can see that a little better. And now what we'll do is we'll select the line font and the rhinestone. And we'll go up here to transform. We'll go to fit object to path. And notice here we have a, a button check that says rhinestone spacing. And on this space right here, we can put in the space that we want to create between the rhinestones. So uh, we'll put in a, a particular value, let's say 16. And we'll click OK. And notice that the rhinestones are placed accurately on the uh, vectors that we're using. Now you could have brought these vectors into Crystal Studio, the program that comes with the Crystal Press, and simply placed those rhinestones on the design in Crystal Studio. But this allows you to see what the design looks like before you actually take it into production. And also, this gives you a little bit more of a chance to play with the colors and create a design more specific to the needs of your customer. Uh, there's also a considerable variety of clip art available in Ioline Design, some of which are very useful for sports and uh, Oh, typical situations like um, oh, food and drink and, and animals and so on. Now, one other very nice feature of the uh, program is this rhinestone palette you see down here, which does allow us to change the color 
of the rhinestones. I'll fill these colors in so you can see them a little better. We could actually uh, select any particular group of rhinestones here, like for instance these, and we could change the color of those rhinestones. And that would mean that when we brought it in to Crystal Studio, we could do a different color or a different size of rhinestones. This would be a separate layer from the uh, uh, more purplish layer here. Notice also that the in the color palette, the name of the color matches the typical names given to rhinestones. So this helps you work with your design. Another thing that's very handy, I'll show you here, I'll have to delete that one stone, and we'll come back out here to our working area, which is set up to match the size of the crystal press, by the way. And we'll delete those letters. And we'll go in here, and another thing we have in our clip art library is a set of t-shirt templates. We can open up one of the t-shirt templates, bring it into our design, and now we'll select and bring to the front the lettering we just created. And we can select that lettering and put it on the garment and get an idea of what it's going to look like. Here we'll make that a, a white color so you can see it a little better. And then to add to the functionality of this particular feature, we can select that whole design and we can go over here and we can publish it to a PDF. Which is to say, we could make this design, we'll call it ABC, and we'll give it a search settings. And now we could very quickly open that file in Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Reader and in fact we would be able to then email that design to your customer so they could see what the design is going to look like before they uh, gave you the clearance to go ahead and create the design. So we'll go back over here to Ioline Design. I hope that tells you a little bit about some of the features that we've added to Ioline Design. We've also tried to simplify it and make it an easier to use program than some of the more complicated programs. And of course you get with your purchase of Ioline Design uh, full support from the folks at Ioline Customer Service. Thanks very much and take care.